The word of the day today is slam dance. Every time I say the word slam dance, a stage dive warrior goes super saiyan. Kamehameha, this is the closest to a pit prose that you're gonna get in the modern era because a slam dance clip has recently gone viral and today we are gonna go through all of this drama. But before we do, hey, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton. I am the host of the show. And if you comment within the first three hours of this upload, I will reply. But just be warned, if you're mean, I'm ruthless, and once that clock hits the three hour and one minute mark, I will stop replying completely. It's three hour gang, or nothing at all. Nothing at all, nothing at all, nothing at all. Okay, Grease Babies, it's time to get a wiggle on. So before we get into any of the drama surrounding this clip, let's just watch the clip in its entirety, and I'm gonna call the action the way that I would've back in the pit pros days. For those uninitiated, I used to run a show on this channel back in the day called Pit Pros where I would call the action of mosh pits like it was like a professional wrestling match or an anime or something of the like. So let's travel back in time a little bit and revive this dead format and then see what all this hubbub, all this noise, and all this ruckus was all about. If you see a community note right here, you know right away we're in for a dispute. What we see here is a sandwich sugar boat mosh pit it's, it seems to be clearing out for a wall of death, and here comes Slam Dance Cinderella in the middle of the pit, doing a little wiggle, doing a little shake, getting her TikTok on, down for a squat, ah! And then, oh my god, the wall of death comes in and crushes this poor girl! Is she okay? Everybody in the venue, pile it on top of one another! And that is the clip that is causing all of this discussion right now. Let's go to the tweet that this blew up underneath. Cassandra McDonald comes in and says, Holy crap, this girl was trying to be sexy for social media or something and went dancing in the pit at a sandwich sugar boat show in Silver Spring just before the wall of death. LMA, oh, 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 oh. So here, Cassandra McDonald is painting that character that I've deemed slam dance Cinderella in the middle of this pit as somebody that was just trying to be sexy for social media or something and kind of like she didn't know what a mosh pit was. She didn't know what a whole wall of death scenario entailed. But if you see the community note right down here, it says, the girl knew what she was doing. She has been in pits before. At 16 seconds, there's a clear view of her waving them in. Here's the 16 second mark right now. Let's see the wave in. Yeah, I deem that a wave in. For sure, 100%. Both sides, come on in. Is she a bit of an attention seeker? Of course. Is she a little bit of a, a sadist? Maybe a little bit, a little bit maniacal. But at the end of the day, this is just a badass clip. And underneath Cassandra McDonald's tweet, it's just a bunch of people being like, she thought it was her moment. Hate to break it to you, it kind of was. What the fuck? I swear these kids have no one that loves them. Maybe she deserved it, but someone should have told her. But then most people came in to kind of correct the situation, which would lead to the community note telling everybody that she did in fact know what she was doing. But the initial replies to this tweet had Addison quote retweet it and say, this post and every reply is so misogynistic and literally brain dead. If it was a sweaty shirtless dude doing a cartwheel, nobody would have said a word. And I understand kind of making this tweet and kind of making this post. As a critique of the initial post, yeah, I can kind of understand that completely. But I don't know if every reply is so misogynistic because all the replies did lead to this community note, which then had the whole like narrative corrected in real time. But that was the back and forth for basically a little bit because everybody in the scene is like, oh, TikTok is ruining the scene. And here comes this TikToker doing a TikTok in the scene and just ruining it for everybody. But this thing has like 7 million views now. The band name Sandwich Sugar Boat is now out there and everybody is seeing it. This clip is literally so iconic already and it's only a day old. And what makes it so cool is that yeah, she did have her moment and it was captured in two or three different angles. This shot here is the most iconic and the best one because you get to see the whole thing go down. But watching it from this side is pretty sick too. Take it away. Boom. <laughs> oh God. It's an awesome clip, badass. And then from the floor, very sick clip right here. Comes running in, lets everybody know that it's her time. 
Oh, we got some back and forthers here. People going back and forth, shuffling about a little bit. Some people are ready for this wall of death, boy. Sandwich Sugar Boat knows how to do it. Slam Dance Cinderella comes in. Does a little flaunt, a little strut, gets the hair thing going. <laughs> Boom, big old squat, waves them in. Boom. Incredible, very sick clip. And the reason why everybody knows that she's okay is because she posted about it and made a two minute video about how she is okay. So let's hear from Slam Dance Cinderella herself. So if you've seen this video, or this one, or this one right here, probably my favorite POV um, of the night. That was me. Um, yeah, no, so um, I am alive. Uh, I fully anticipated all of that. I knew exactly what I was doing. Um, it's not the first time I've been in a pit before. Uh, I've been in a knock loose pit. Like that was my first pit I ever been in. And that night I, I think I seen God um, and she was beautiful. For further proof, I mean, these were, these were the glorious heels that I wore for that. My skimpy little skirt that I'm probably gonna burn. But yeah, no, I'm still alive. Um, I know a lot of people were like, oh my God, is she okay, is she okay? Yeah, I think the only thing that I like really got hurt from that night was the cigarette burns because I, I can't smoke a cigarette like a civilized person without burning myself. But no, I'm still alive. Um, 10 out of 10. Everybody concerned about my well-being. Um, I am alive, I am okay. Thank you for checking up on me. I'm still here. Mentally, we'll discuss that in therapy. Um, as for the rest of you hoes, you heifers, who are like, uh, uh, main character syndrome. Yeah, I got that shit. I got that shit in the <laughs> What did you get? Probably an anal fissure, cause you're being so ass hurt. Missing nails. I also lost some nails that night. <laughs> the modern age of mosh discourse is blowing my mind right now because back when I started the whole pit pros thing, I never thought that like slam dancing, hardcore music would make its way to TikTok. That was actually the name of one of my first videos, dance moves that you will never see on TikTok. My God, did that title ever age like milk. Now we got mosh clips going viral on TikTok. We got discourse going back and forth. We got misogyny accusations, drama, gossip, innuendo, you name it. It's all here around mosh pit clips on TikTok. I'm feeling like a real pioneer over here. But all jokes aside, the fact that she is okay, the fact that she invited it all in, the fact that it was like predetermined and planned makes it badass, okay? It really does. Everybody has a little bit of main character syndrome. Everybody wants to get the clip a little bit. So was she clip farming in real time? 100%. That is the meta nowadays. You gotta farm those clips. And she saw her moment she capitalized on it. She saw a huge open pit, a ton of people and cameras in the air and stole the moment 100%. I don't know if she went into the set knowing that there was going to be like a wall of death type moment, but to be able to think on the fly like that and be like, oh, now is my time. I think that's very sick. Now we just need more mosh pit clips to go viral so I can keep this series going. So if anybody from this video, if anybody from this story happens to see this video, hey, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton, nice to meet you. No matter what side you're on, thank you for helping create this situation on the internet. Because it's not that deep. We don't need to be throwing out accusations and stuff like this. When you don't know the context of the clip, I can totally see how you'd think that it's just like some social media person wanting to get the clip because at the end of the day that's not necessarily wrong it is just a social media person trying to get the clip and just like succeeded at it tenfold so for the people that are mad just like she said at the end of her video stay mad i guess i don't know what to tell you but i'm gonna put this challenge out there into the ether now take clip farming to the mosh pit I like this. If this is the new meta, I think it's sick. Now I know a lot of the hardcore bros are not gonna like that. They want traditional pure mosh pits. 
But if people pull antics to get like attention, I think that is great because that's going to create content for this channel and create kind of this like hopefully feedback loop of viral mosh pit clips on the internet. So that's my take, but Munchie's take over here is that he's actually kind of mad at me that I don't pronounce the band name Sandwich Sugar Boat correctly. But what do you expect when you name your band Sandwich Sugar Boat and have a logo that looks like this? People are going to call you Sandwich Sugar Boat. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Until my next upload, watch another upload. Okay, take care and have a good one.